Hey guys, I'm Cirx. And I'm Van. And it's time to have some fun. Today, we're going to be eating 15 bags of chips. Woo! Cirx Van Fun Time. So we recently took a trip out to the eastern coast of Canada. We hit up all the maritime provinces on our way there. Our first stop was a little town just outside of Heartland in New Brunswick. The reason we stopped there is because there's a little known potato chip factory there called Covered Bridge. And they've got the best potato chips. The best, with the most unique flavors. Oh yeah. And we first discovered them in Marshalls, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird, but we fell in love with them right away. They're very crisp, a lot of flavors, delicious chips, really enjoyable. We first took a little tour when we were there, and they gave us a little bag of potato chips, and then at the end of the tour, we, we were able to sample all 30 of their flavors. <laughs> and then we decided we'd buy a bunch, just to taste for you guys, so you can see what they're like. You trust our opinions, right? <laughs> so, the little gift shop attached to the tour had 15 different flavors. They didn't have all 30, sadly, but we ended up buying 19 bags of chips. Yeah. <laughs> Four of them were the same flavor, because it's our favorite flavor. <laughs> and we haven't seen them in Marshalls in forever, so... Yeah, we got a little worry. a bunch of those. But we needed a box. We needed yeah. a box. <laughs> the ladies looked at us a little funny when we bought them. <laughs> but it was alright. Definitely <laughs> worth it. So, as we mentioned, we have 15 flavors to try. We're going to start with the kind of simpler flavors and then move on to the really weird ones they have. <laughs> And we're going to save the best for last, our, super, our absolute favorite. <laughs> the first flavor we're starting with is plain and simple, no salt added. These are just regular kettle cooked potato chips. I'm not usually a fan of plain chips, but I love Covered Bridge chips. I love their crunchiness and like the quality of potato they use. So I think they're going to impress me. Give it a try. <laughs> Got some tough bags. Yeah. <laughs> So very crunchy. Crisp. <laughs> very crisp. Not oily like normal plain chips mm -hmm. are. Yeah, they actually centrifuge off the oil. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool to see. Um, yeah, pretty yeah. damn good. The lack of flavor is actually really nice. It feels very, mm -hmm. like, light. Yeah, and it lets you actually modify yourself, right? If you have mm -hmm. some kind of dressing that you like, you can they, add it right on. They sell their, like, seasonings on the side yeah, too. You just didn't buy any, but yeah. that could be an option. <laughs> there you have it. Plain and simple. Excellent. <laughs> so when we went on the tour, the bag of chips they gave us were actually sweet potato chips. Mm -hmm. And so we bought a little bag because we had already tried them. And uh, we just decided to try them for you. They're the sweet potato with sea salt. And it's sweet potato season for sure there. Oh, yeah. Because that's all they Everything were making. <laughs> <laughs> They're not the same as yams, by the way. Yeah. Little Fun fact we learned on the tour. <laughs> Ooh, smell like smell sweet potato. <laughs> Mm. Oh well. And I usually don't like sweet potatoes either. But these are great. <laughs> they're very flavorful. And they're actually. so crunchy. Tastes almost a little pumpkin-y. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, really they're nice great. Chips. If anyone likes sweet potatoes, you'd love these. Yeah, these you'd are absolutely. a little more moist than, uh, than the regular potatoes, mm -hmm. I'd say. Not as crunchy, but... But not like oily moist. They're no. just like the natural mm -hmm. oils from the potato. <laughs> Delicious. Mm-hmm. So these next chips are actually in unfamiliar territory because we've never had them before. But these are the red and white potato chips, and they made these specially for Canada Day. So uh, this is one of the last batches because it's limited edition. Um, let's see what they're like. A little curious. Oh, oh good. <laughs> Typical bags. <laughs> Ooh, it was on a red one. Oh, I wanted a red one too, but. <laughs> Boop. Mmm. Oh wow, these are so good. <laughs> these are really good. Oh, they're really salty. They're thinner than their normal ones, eh? Mm -hmm. They seem to have a little extra flavor in them, though. Let me have a red one. I never <laughs> tried to do white. Oh, like a little nutty, almost? Mm -hmm. like a little walnut or hazelnut type flavor to it? They're very interesting. Oilier, but yeah. in a good way. They're not like too greasy, but they're... I think it might be the type of potatoes they're using, actually, for mm. these ones. These are I'm really happy. good. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so 
the next flavor we got is a small bag, um, just because it's uh, sea salt, which Cirque has already delved into. <laughs> Pretty got safe enough hungry. for us to try. <laughs> so these are just the regular old-fashioned, just with sea salt on it, instead of the sweet potato or instead of the no salt added, which we've yeah. already tried. <laughs> and these are different than the red and white. The red and white were a different type of potato. These are russet. Yeah. Um, so these Fresh ones are potato. more like their usual potato chips. Yes. Mm-hmm. Super crunchy. That's why you love, you love them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The russet really has that extra crunch. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Dark russet potato chips. Yeah. Nice and salty. Not overpowering. It's nice. Yeah, it's, it's a just good a snack. nice potato chip. Yeah. I really liked it. It's I was perfect. just feeling a salty snack one day. Just busted it open. It was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. This next one also seems kind of like a normal type flavor, but it's actually really good. We tried it uh, during the tour. And we really liked it. So, uh, this is just the sea salt, but with cracked pepper as well. And that pepper actually does add quite a bit of extra flavor. Oh, yeah. You can see the little pepper flakes on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It just has that next bit of flavor. Yeah. I really like this one. <laughs> it is really good because it tastes like fresh cracked pepper. Mm-hmm. So it does have a lot of extra flavor. It's not just like uh, flakes of pepper. It's, yeah. It is like cracked pepper. You do get that extra power. And that's why Covered Bridge is so nice. Like their, their spices even are just such quality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So adding a bit more flavor, the next bag we're going to try <laughs> is sea salt and vinegar. Ooh. As you can see, nice little green bag. I really like their bags actually. Yeah, their bags really, are fun. Quality bags too. Yeah. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> okay. okay. And see, because the chips are thicker, by the way, they don't break as easy. So you get nice mm-hmm. full chips. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh god, these are so good. <laughs> a lot of vinegar on there. Wow. These are nice. Have you never had these before? I've had them before, but not like the this. Powder. They wow. just seem so Very good. Strange. They're great. <laughs> I'm loving them. I love them. <laughs> Now we're going to move on to a flavor that's more uh, akin to the eastern coast. It has the covered bridge sole in it. (laughs) (laughs) This is lobster. Now this may sound a little weird, and it kind of is, but let's try it out. We both love lobster, so... (laughs) Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Every single meal we had on that trip had at least a little bit of lobster. (laughs) Let's go. Ooh, these look like they might be sweet potato chips. No, they just look... Flavored. Oh, very, very flavored. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. This actually has a lot of flavor on it. Oh, yeah. And it, it tastes weirdly like lobster. But not, like, grossly like lobster. <laughs> like, a, you know, fishy might be a little weird. No, these are awesome. They're good. I could see. If you don't like fish, you will not like these chips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're pretty good. Bite. They're pretty good. They're nice. Kind of like a barbecue-ish flavor too, eh? Yes. Actually, yeah. It's like a barbecue type lobster. It's not bad at all. Mm-hmm. I'm liking it. I'm liking me too. It. Makes me miss the East Coast though. Yeah. So the next flavor we're trying is also quite strange. It is <laughs> loaded hot dog and it's a limited mm. batch. So we tried a limited batch last year. It was Sloppy Joe oh, and it was fantastic. Yeah. Sloppy Joe was great. It was so good. <laughs> yeah. So we thought we'd give these a try. High hopes. And we opened the bag when we got home. We were super excited <laughs> to try these. First ones we tried when we got back. And we'll try them again in front of you so you get like our real light, real time opinion, I guess, again. Vastly underwhelmed. Unfortunately. We're convinced we got a bad batch. Because there's barely any because flavor. Because there's no flavor. <laughs> It tastes just slightly different than the plain, honestly. Like like the plain, not even like the salted, and unfortunately. Yeah. And it does have a hint of almost like mustard or ketchup ish. Yeah. On it, but we tried little. it at the end of the tour with yeah. like just the powder, and we liked it. Yeah, it was good. So we seemed to be good, but we're just chalking this up to unfortunately a bad batch. Yeah. It's a little sad. Now moving on to even weirder flavors, <laughs> we're on to the sweet. And spicy jalapeno. This one we tried on the tour too. It was pretty good. I really like this. I have high hopes here. Me too. Fun bag again. (laughs) New color. Love it. Again, dark russet potato chips. So, oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Uh, You get you just we transported these all the way from (laughs) New Brunswick and around the East Coast. (laughs) 
<laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Ready? Mm. 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 Nice burst of flavor as soon as you put it in your mouth. Oh, yeah. Very akin mm. to uh, sweet chili heat, actually. But not... Not, not cheesy. so intense, yeah. yeah. Like, the beginning. Was like very... a little subtle flavor. Oh, it's so nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. This next flavor is another limited edition and has a real East Coast touch to it. It's Donair. <laughs> now, I never had a Donair. Neither has he. Nope. But we know they're similar to shawarma. Yep. And we liked the flavor when we tried it at the end of the tour. So we obviously broke into these when we got home. <laughs> but we saved some. So we're going to try them. Yeah, we went through a whole East Coast trip without trying Donair. Because there's so much lobster. Because we were eating lobster all the time. Who wants Donair? Ready? I really know how to describe the flavor. Is those too Some kind like? of yeah, like sweetness to it. Yeah, but it does have that. But kind of like kind a like right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It is good. It's really good. Nice, very spicy. Um, mhm. Mm it's a really powerful flavor. Really fun. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It was good to munch on. <laughs> and now, perhaps the most Canadian flavor of all, the ketchup chips. <laughs> Now, personally, I don't really like ketchup that much. I do. Vanessa loves ketchup. Uh, she puts it on everything. Okay, so. no, that's why. I just like the ketchup flavored chips. <laughs> let's, uh, let's dig into these bad boys. Ooh. Ooh. This is nice and orange, too. You ready? Oh. <laughs> hey! Hey! Tastes better than other ketchup chip flavors. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can say that. It's more like... Spicy. It tastes like actual, like it says home style ketchup. It tastes like. Yeah. That's actually what it does. Ketchup. If you've been to a diner and they have their own little ketchup bottle there. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. I really like these. Yeah. They're good. So, normally we don't eat dill after the whole dill fiasco, but we're deciding to make an exception for Covered Bridge and we're trying their creamy dill pickle chips. It could be good. Got a small bag good. on purpose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, always a good start. Ooh, they look nice. You can see the dill. You can see the dill. <laughs> Very dill. Very dill. Pretty good, though. Not sure. Yeah, not bad. I like the creaminess. Yeah. Kind of like a sour cream and onion. It has yeah. that, like... Yeah. Whatever that is on Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're not bad. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Covered Bridge did a great job. Crunchiness makes them better, just like real pickles. As a child, I used to always go to this one coffee shop with my dad, and he'd always buy me a bag of chips. And every time he bought me it, he'd always buy me my favorite kind. Sour cream and onion. Oh yeah, I'm really excited. We've never tried the sour cream and onion from there, except during the, uh, the flavor test. But here we go, on the actual chips. So usually their common flavors Ooh. are done so much better. So, yeah, I'm excited. very high hopes. You can see the creaminess on it already. You can. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, you can. Look at that. Look these at things this. Are, these things are loaded. All right. Let's get into this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what little Sergio always dreamed of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Here, have this one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look. You always get these bad boys. <laughs> the super wish chips. Mm. What do you wish for? Can't tell you. Mm. Mm -hmm. This next bag of chips is one of their more common flavors as well. Mm -hmm. But they do it really, really well. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's called Smoke and Sweet Barbecue. Ooh. Comes like this. Ooh. Look at that bag. Ooh. It's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> So, we haven't tried this one as well, just been at the end of the tour. I don't really remember. <laughs> we tried, yeah, like, we tried all those flavors. So, it's kind of hard to remember. Really nice full chips again. Oh. All nicely coated. Whew. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
It is exactly what it would describe as smoke and sweet barbecue. <laughs> yeah, it's excellent. It's, it reminds me of like camping. Yeah. No, yeah. this is great. This would be great to take camping, actually. Mm -hmm. So good. So wow. good. I'm very impressed with these. Mm -hmm. Very impressed. <laughs> and finally, we get to the granddaddy of all the flavors. This was the first flavor we ever tried that fateful night at Marshall's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> and it changed our lives. It honestly did. It really did. We, we don't even touch other chips no. unless they're covered bridge now. We bring these <laughs> to all our camping events, and mm -hmm. everyone's like, oh, my God, what are these chips? <laughs> this is it. Oh. The... Montreal Steak Spice! Oh god, these things are great. <laughs> these things are fantastic. We bought four Double bags of these. We ate one on the drive. <laughs> right away. We're uh, surprised we didn't finish more, to be perfectly oh god, honest. Yeah. So. <laughs> we were good. We were good. <laughs> Here we go. That lobster. Ooh. Mm. Smooth opening. Oh yeah. You can <laughs> smell it. Ooh. Mm. Oh yeah. These are flavorful chips. Even though they don't look like it, they're not bright orange like the other ones. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Like, I don't know if you're familiar with steak spice, Montreal steak spice. You've had a Montreal steak. <laughs> it is. You'll know what it's that. like. It's mm -hmm. that. That's nice what it is. Nice pepper. Nice other like deep spices. I want to say. I can eat this so whole bag flavorful. right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> really good. <clears throat> Even after all those other chips, like nothing compares. Mm -mm. To Montreal steak spice. We tried all the flavors, and still that one was our favorite. Mm -hmm. This is it. Mm -hmm. This is it. You need this in your life. You need it. Just get it. Just get it. Sad part is, uh, we haven't seen it at Marshall's in a really long time. It's honestly one of the big motivating factors for this whole trip. <laughs> 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 The final bag of chips we bought was this nice giant bag. Ooh. Look at how big that is. Called it's big. The it's bigger Weekender. than my head. <laughs> oh. It has <whoa. laughs> <laughs> four flavors in it. They have sea salt and vinegar, loaded hot dog, smoke and sweet barbecue, and sweet and spicy jalapeno. Good flavors. And look at the art on this. You have the nice little potatoes basking in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. And it's like perfect for taking camping. It'll last you all weekend. Ooh. So that concludes our taste test. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you guys should really check out these chips. If you ever get the chance, if you're at Marshall's or Winners, any of those stores, uh, take a look at their chips. If they've got Covered Bridge, give it a try. They're delicious. You will not be disappointed. No, they're high quality. They're super tasty. They're just like so much better than they're the great. normal chips they they're sell. They're fantastic. It's and they feel a lot lighter. They're not full of oil. And, exactly. Oh, man. But they they're so really flavorful, nice. so it's worth it. They're great chips. Mm -hmm. I'm Serx. And I'm Van. And, and we, we hope, hope you had, had a fun time. time.